YouTube, it's your girl Juanita Franklin coming to you guys with another video. But before I get into what this video is about, I just want to say I hope all is well with everyone. I hope everybody's doing what it takes to keep themselves safe from this coronavirus, this COVID-19 that's going around in our country. I hope everybody's finding joy, love, and happiness and peace in your lives. I hope everybody's doing great. Okay, guys, so I came to give you guys an update on what's been going on with my health. Um, as you guys know, two weeks ago, I ended up getting rushed um, to the hospital in the ambulance. Um, I was feeling real weak. My whole body was feeling real sick. I was burned up with a fever. My blood pressure had shot up real high. Um, I ended up in the amylams and the amylams, my blood pressure was like 168. And then when I got to the hospital, the amylam drivers, they put me in the wheelchair, wheelchair me, they wheelchair, put me in the wheelchair, took me to registration in the emergency room. And while I was in registration, I had to vomit. And this nurse grabbed this green little plastic bag and gave it to me and had me vomit in the plastic bag. And I ended up vomiting in the emergency room in front of everybody in the emergency room was crowded so a lot of people looking at me like are you okay you know and i was real sick your girl was feeling real sick and then when they took me to check my vitals my blood pressure shot from, went from 168 to 179 so i was terrified that was scary that was a scary experience um my blood pressure had never in life been up that high before it was weird I, I, it was really weird. Um, I vomited like two or three times at my kid's house. Now, mind you, I was at my kid's house when I got real sick like that. And my face has swollen, like right here, guys. My face is swollen, just swollen out of nowhere. So my kids thought something bit me because I was outside barbecuing for Labor Day. My kids thought something had bit me. They was like, Mom, put some alcohol on your face. And uh, they're like something bitchy. So I had went in, in my kid's bathroom, put some alcohol and peroxide on my face because my face had swelled up like was a big knot right there. And um, so I thought something had bit me. So then, you know, I'm going to go to this right quick, then I'm going to go back to what I was saying. So then I kept putting peroxide and alcohol on my face throughout the day. And then, I don't know, I touched my face. And pus just started coming out my face, which was weird. A lot of pus just started coming out my face. Then that's when I started feeling real sick. I started burning over the fever. I just started feeling real sick out of nowhere. So I called the emergency room, talked to the doctor. The doctor told me to her call the ambulance and get in. And they told me they said we might we might have to keep you. And so I did. Um, the ambulance was called and they came and got me, took me to the emergency room. And so, guys, now I can go back to what I was saying. So, I sat in a in uh, uh, wheelchair in the emergency room for four hours, guys. I sat in that chair, wheelchair, for four whole hours before they came and took me to the back. Okay, I felt real lightheaded. I felt dizzy and everything because my blood pressure was high. And I asked them to give me water. They was like, no, because you might vomit it back up because I kept vomiting. But my blood pressure was pressed so high. And I was feeling so lightheaded and dizzy. It scared me. So I snuck in my purse, took one of my blood pressure pills out, and I, and I, and I put it in my mouth and swallowed it. Because I didn't want my blood pressure being that high. It scared me. My blood pressure had never been that high before. So then, like I said, once I got to the back, they put me in this bed in the hall in the back in the emergency room. Okay? And then they had me sit, lay there until the doctor come. And so the doctor, a lady doctor friendly came. And I showed her my face and stuff. And she asked me what was all was going on with me. And I was telling her. And so she was like, I want you, we're going to give you a cup. We want you to go to the bathroom and urinate in a cup. Do you think you're able to walk to the bathroom or do you need help going to the bathroom? And so they, she ended up having this nurse give me the cup. And I ended up making my way, you know, walking real slow to the bathroom. I urinate in that cup. And I, you know, cleaned myself and everything and gave it to him. So then, after I uh, came back from urinating, from urinating, getting in the cup, I lay back in the bed in the hall. 
then two nurses came and they, they said they had a room ready for me and they took me in the room. So then they, the doctor ended up coming in there and the doctor was telling me that um, they want to see if I had COVID, they want to see if I had strep throat, they want to see if I had pneumonia and all that stuff. But they had tested me for COVID and strep throat while I was waiting. They took me in the back. While I was in the waiting room, They somebody came and took me to the back and they tested me. They put a, they swabbed my nose to see if I had COVID and then they put something in my throat put this long thing in my throat to see if I had strep throat. They did that while before I even went to the back, you know, um, and end up in the uh, uh, end up in the, in the room. So anyway, so the doctor was like, well, we're gonna check you, check you, check you for you do more. And she said, and then so when I showed her the knot in my face, um, I told her I think something bit me, and then she said no. She said did nothing bite you. She said ain't nothing but a big not of infection that's a big chunk of infection i said what she said you has you have a face infection i said a face infection like that and she was like yeah so i'm like oh wow because i had never in my life you know had a face infection before and then my whole face would start like breaking out over here and breaking out over there and little uh scars and stuff like that and that because i had a face infection and it was causing my skin to break out literally in spots and stuff like that so I didn't know, you know, I had never in my life had a whole face infection before. So I was like, wow, you know, and uh, the, the, the knot, there was like an abscess that came up on my gums. So she's like, yeah, you got a, that ain't nothing but a big chunk of infection. I'm like, oh, wow, like that. And then so, so that they took me for S-rays and they, they came, sent some, and they came, they sent somebody in the room to check me for S-rays to see if I had pneumonia. And... Okay, then they sent somebody to draw blood. They they sent somebody in the room to draw tubes of blood out of me. They 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 drew, they, they checked my vitals again first. They they uh sent somebody to draw blood. Then they sent somebody to take me to X-rays. So they ran all the different tests on me. And then when I came back, they put me back in the bed for when I came back from getting my chest X-rays. Um, because they wanted to make sure they wanted to see if I had pneumonia. So anyway, guys. So when all my test results came back. I didn't have new I didn't have COVID, thank God. I didn't have a strep throat. I didn't have pneumonia. I had an upper respiratory infection. I had I, I had an upper respiratory infection. Hold on one second, guys. So anyway, like I said, I had the doctor told me I had an upper respiratory infection. Told me I had two different kind of infection. I had an upper respiratory infection, and I had a um uh. uh a face infection, an all low face infection, and you know that was me having a big ab abscess on my gums. I did not know abscess was nothing but infection, a big not infection. So anyway, so that's why I got real sick, cause like she said, like the doctor told me, when you get real sick, it automatically runs your blood pressure up high when you get sick like that. <laughs> so they end up keeping me overnight. They didn't send me home the same day. They ended up keeping me for a day um, before they discharged me because they wanted to make sure my blood pressure and stuff would get back to normal and stay normal and all that stuff. So, um, so they gave me two different kind of antibiotics. They gave me, uh, because mind you guys, I got sick prior. I got sick like a month and a half. Let me say this right quick. I got sick like a month and a half ago and went to the emergency room and I had upper respiratory in, infection then because they did the same test that this hospital did. They did, um, I wasn't feeling good one night and I went to the hospital, okay? But this, I went to the hospital in an Uber. I went to the emergency room, it was late at night. I was not feeling good and I went to the emergency room in the Uber. And when I got to the hospital, they did the same test, strep throat, COVID, and, um, a chest x-ray but I found it very weird at the other hospital because the other hospital I went to a month a month and a half ago they only had one doctor running that whole emergency room by herself I found that real weird like how many how, how one doctor going to tend to all these patients but the thing about the other hospital is they told my head up for respiratory infection but because they sent me home and did not give me they did not give me no prescription for no type of antibiotics or nothing like that my upper respiratory infection was left untreated 
that's the reason why it got way worse. If they would have treated my infection, I wouldn't. It wouldn't have got way worse. And I wouldn't have got real sick the way I did this time. Oh my gosh, I got so sick. I was so sick. I swear to God, I was so freaking sick, guys. I literally felt like I was. I I don't even want to use the word, but I I was so sick. I was so freaking sick. I felt awful. I vomited for like even when they discharged me from the hospital and I came home. I vomited for like two or three days later. It's three even after they sent me home. I they discharged me out the hospital. I went back to my kids' house. I was so sick. My kids made me lay in that bed all day. That strong medication the hospital had me on kept knocking me out. Only time I got out that bed was to use the bathroom. And that was it. My kids was bringing my food to the bed. They was feeding. But my, both my oldest daughter and my youngest daughter, they was feeding me. You know, my youngest daughter went to Walgreens, got my prescription filled. She, she was, they gave me three different kind of medication. But my insurance only covered two. The other one, I had to come out of pocket. And uh, it was pretty expensive. So I, I had to come out of, I had to come out of pocket for the other medication. But... I had a hard time coming up money trying to get that medication, but I ended up getting the medication I need. Um, now I got I got the medication that I need, but um, I was like, oh gosh, man, I felt so freaking awful. The last two week guys was rough. I, that infection was so bad it had me feeling so freaking awful. I didn't think I was gonna ever feel better. I was so freaking sick the last two weeks. I was like, man, that infection was so bad. It had me feeling so freaking sick. And like I said, I laid in the bed all day at my kid's house. Um, they put me on strong medication that kept knocking me out, putting me to sleep. So I was in bed the whole day. I did a whole lot of sleeping. And my kids didn't want me out the bed. You know, my younger daughter was like, no, nah, mom, you need to rest. <sighs> Excuse me, I need a burp. <laughs> my youngest daughter made me lay in that bed the entire day. They, my daughter, my youngest daughter, went to Walgreens, hung her boyfriend, got my prescription filled. They tried to get my prescription filled, and they was going out to different stores trying to get me something to eat. I mean, different stores, different restaurants, trying to make sure I get give me some food and make sure I eat and all that. They was taking care of me. My kid was taking care of me, but. I stayed in my kid's house like a, two or three days after I left the after I got to the hospital. Then I ended up coming home. And when I came home, I still was vomiting and I was feeling awful. And um, I was like, Lord have mercy. I'm not going to lie, guy. That's one time. I wish I still had a husband. <laughs> oh, it was time. It was that time. I wish I still had a husband because I'm like, uh, when I used to be married to my ex-husband, I was with my ex-husband 18 years. Every time I got sick once in a while, my ex-husband would always take care of me. And so for me to get real sick like that from that bad infection and um, at home had to take care of myself, I was good when I was at my kids. Like my kids were taking care of me. But once I came home and, and I was still feeling horrible and awful and trying to take care of myself, it was, oh gosh. I wish I had literally wish I had somebody here to help take care of me. I was so I was so sick I couldn't do hardly nothing. But I was literally wishing I had a husband. I said, Thank if I was only married still. If I had a husband to take care of me during these times, you know, once in a while when I get sick like that. Yeah, I was like, Oh gosh, this one time I wish I had a husband. <laughs> I did, I was like, Dang Lord, you need to send me a husband. <laughs> Because if I had a husband, my husband would have been, you know, taking care of me once in a while when I got sick like that. But I was left, you know, alone to take care of myself. And it, it wasn't easy. I mean, like I said, the last two weeks was real rough, guys. It was so rough. Oh, it was so rough. Your girl was sick. I mean, I was feeling awful. And bad infections make you feel awful. It really does. I kept having them fevers coming and going. I was vomiting three, four days, three, four, five, about three, at least three, four, at least four days in a row I vomited. Um, the fever was coming and going. I was feeling real sick. Oh, gosh. It was just, I kept laying around. 
They had no strength, no energy to do nothing. It was just, it was, I was losing my appetite. It was just terrible. So I'm like, dang, like that. You know, but I, I, I would just, I do wish I had a husband. <laughs> I am, I'm going to tell you guys something. I am currently dating. I'm in a whole new relationship. I am. I'm in a new relationship with a new guy. I am. Your girl is currently dating. I'm in a new relationship with a new guy. Okay. And I'm not going to introduce him to YouTube yet. I'm going to wait a while because, and then he won't be on my channel. I don't believe in bringing my personal life or my personal relationship on social media. Now, I will be introducing him to you guys once I get, once I be with him for a while, get to knowing him real, 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 real good. You know, um, he got a lot of positive things going on for himself. And, you know, he's a homeowner. He owns his own home. He, he's ha he has a master's degree. He got it going on. Put it like that. He got, a, he got a lot of positive things going for us. So he got a master's degree. He's a homeowner. And um, he has a great career, a great career job. Um, he's looking for, he, when I first met him, the first thing he said, I don't want a girlfriend, you know. I don't want nobody just clamming to be with. I don't want nobody, you know, just for their behind or just for sex. I want a wife. He said, I'm looking for a wife. I'm looking for a good woman to settle down and marry because I'm a real good man. That's the first thing he said when I first met him. And mind you guys, I met him through someone. I met him. I met him through somebody. Somebody introduced me to him. Um, but yeah. But like I said, yeah, I am in a new relationship um, with a new guy. Um, I'm going to introduce him to YouTube once we get, I get to know him real good and be on him for a while maybe six months from now and I, maybe between now, I say about six months from now, I'm saying give myself six months to be with him then I would bring him to YouTube and introduce him to you guys but I am currently in a new relationship with a new guy you know, I decided you know, it's best to start over new, not to always go back backwards to a neck to a no good ex boyfriend, to a ex husband, it's always good to start over new. You know what I'm saying? Going backwards, why well, keep going backwards to a no good ex boyfriend? If it ain't, if it ain't work, then it's not gonna work now. Why well, keep putting yourself through that? Why well, keep getting in a relationship that you it's gonna be off and on? You constantly off and on, will keep breaking up. That means. He's is not meant for you. If you got to be off and on with a guy, then he's not meant for you. So I don't want to keep going backwards to get in, going back to a no good ex boyfriend or go back to my ex husband. They're ex for a reason, okay? So anyway, yeah, your girl is in a new relationship with a whole new dude. <laughs> yes, a whole new dude, and um, and I like him. I'm not gonna lie, I like him a lot. Um. We, we 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 can we 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 do a lot we do a lot of communicating, FaceTiming and stuff like that. But if we can we really get into knowing each other because this man is, wants a wife. He don't want a girlfriend. He want a wife. Okay. He's looking to be married, and I want a husband. Okay. So I just want to let you guys know I am currently dating and I'm in a new relationship with a new dude. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> So, yeah, I wanted to give you guys an update on my health and what's, what's, going, what's been going on with your girl. I'm feeling better. Am I feeling 100% back like myself? Not yet. I mean, the two last two weeks, like I said, was rough. I was real sick. Okay? I was so sick, I didn't think this infection was going to ever leave me. That's how sick I was between an upper respiratory infection in my chest and a face infection. Your girl was sick. I was real sick. But thank God I am feeling better. I'm not 100% back to feeling the way I want yet. But I am feeling better. So I wanted to give you guys an update on me, on my health. What was going on with me. How, why I end up at the hospital. Why I end up in the emergency room. Why I end up getting kept overnight. They kept me overnight and they discharged me. Um, they kept, I spent, they, they admitted me in the hospital for one day and I got discharged the next day. But yeah, that's how sick I was. I was sick. 
So anyway, um, so I just been taking it easy, taking doing what I'm supposed to do. They're trying to get my body back right. You know, like I said, I'm not 100 percent feeling all the way good. I'm feeling better, but I want to feel 100 percent all the way better. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's all I wanted to say. I want to give you guys an update. I will be back blogging soon, guys. I miss you guys. I love you guys. You guys are my biggest supporters, my biggest fans. I do. I miss you guys. So, I, your girl, I'll be back blogging soon. That's a promise. I just want to get my body back right um, and hope it get back right and stay back right. All right. See you. Um, comment, subscribe, like, share. Hit the post notification button. See you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Peace.